Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, in this video, I will show you how to perform a differentiator amplifier using OPAM741. In order to perform this simulation, I am using the software, the simulation software that is Proteus. First of all, we will see its circuit diagram. In this circuit diagram, it consists of 741 IC and in feedback, we have connected a capacitor, a capacitor and resistor. And in the input, that is at pin number 2, we have to connect a series resistor as well as capacitor. Once we connect this circuit and we have to apply the square wave at the input, at the output we have to obtain or we should get the spikes. Let's begin its simulation using Proteus software. Open the Proteus software, click on component mode, click on P and here we first we have to select the op amp type open in the keyword select v741 double click on it and we also need a register type a register here here we have to select the register generic register symbol double click on it once we double click that is going to add in the list and we also need a capacitor type capacitor here once we type capacitor, here you can see that generic non-electric capacitor, select it, double click on it and that is going to add in this list. Once we add the required component, click on OK. Now it's time to construct a circuit. Click on 741 and click on the workspace. For the sake of convenience, I will Y mirror it. Hence the pin number 2 appear uh, upper side and pin number Three is appear on the bottom side. Here now I will make the connection as per the circuit diagram. First select the resistor here and select capacitor here. We also need a capacitor and as well as resistor in the feedback. Select the capacitor here. Make the connection. I am connecting this to pin number 2 and connect this feedback to pin number 2 as well as pin number 6 make the connection the very important one we have to change its value otherwise we won't get any output now what should be the value of r1 and c1 let's check the circuit diagram here the resistors are in different name but anyway the resistors which are connected to pin number 2 here it should be 100 ohm and this is 0.1 microfarad should be 100 ohm I will make it as 100 ohms and this should be 0 0.1 microfarad I will make it as 0 0.1 microfarad click on ok likewise in the feedback we need 1.5 k ohm resistor and 0 0.01 microfarad this is 1.5 k 1.59 k I click on OK and this should be this should be the 0 0.01 this should be 0 0.01 this should be 0 0.01 microfarad click on OK once we make this connection now we will apply the DC voltage to this op amp click on power make the connection here I will Y mirror it for the sake of convenience and connect this to pin number 4 since the pin number 4 is connected to negative power supply that is I should make it as minus 12 and this I should make it as plus 12 click on OK once we done with this now I have to apply the input I will connect the ground to pin number 3 here now we are done with the circuit connection. Now it's time to apply the input and observe the output. Click on in virtual instrument mode here. Select as signal generator. Connect that signal generator here. Align the circuit properly. Select this signal generator here.
select the signal generator here we have to connect this to positive and one another end we have to connect this to negative and in order to get the output we need the oscilloscope connect select the oscilloscope here and connect to output one channel we have to connect to the input i will make the connection the input that is channel a and connect the output to channel b now it's time to apply the input and observe the output click on run button once we click on run we can see that here the signal generator as well as the oscilloscope is going to appear now in order to obtain the input or in order to obtain the output we have to give the proper values hence i will make this frequency range as 1 kilo ohm and this voltage as 1 volt and i will make this as 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo hertz set it as 1 kilo hertz set it as 1 kilo hertz and set it as 1 volt now I have to change the waveform here select make it as square wave once we apply once we apply the square wave here you can see that we are obtaining the spikes now since I have connected the input at the channel A let's change its scale in order to observe it properly I am changing its scale here you can see that its amplitude is going to increase and likewise the channel B is connected at the output I will make the proper changes to observe that output properly here you can see that and change the time base you can, here you can see that we are changing the time base friends we are obtaining these spikes when we apply the square wave in this way we conduct a differentiator amplifier using op amp 741 thank you